Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA and Shimmer news of the last weeks. I'm Alexander Fresh from the Honeymoon and here we go. First let's talk about the great success of the treasure hunt. On 16 of May the Shimmer network reached 1.8 million transactions and that quite fluently. In total until today, 21st of May, almost 15 million transactions have been carried out on 250,000 wallets. Third place goes to ApeDAO, second to Shimmercy and the winner is TangleSwap. Dave has written a detailed report on Discord about it. The Treasures of Shimmer campaign was successful for the Wasp team and provided important insights into how the network behaves under high traffic. Although there were peaks periods, chain exceeded expectations in terms of performance and throughput. Identifying bottlenecks and operational issues as well as prioritizing pruning for non-archived nodes are the biggest tasks ahead of a Shimmer EVM release candidate. Further improvements and collaboration with other teams are planned to optimize deposits and node maintenance. The main goal remain a successful and sustainable launch of Shimmer EVM with quality and stability taking priority. Of course, there were also a few smaller clouds over this event. Where money is involved, cheaters are not very far. So there were many bots, fake transactions and playing with multiple accounts. These problems were quickly discovered and their respective projects and persons were punished. Nevertheless, one could often see from the numbers that something could not be right. IOTA Heroes was successful controlled by the audit team, but there were a few minor issues that have already been corrected. You can read the complete report in the resources. Accumulator, which has been a long time coming, opened its doors during Treasure Hunt. The special thing here is that it automatically reinvests the winnings and you don't have to do it manually. A useful tool for Shimmercy. On the 10th of May they also published a Medium article where they explain their tool in more detail. The second article is a guide for yield farmers and explain how to use LP yield compounding on the accumulator. It explains how yield farmers can maximize their returns by placing their liquidity provider tokens on accumulator, by incorporating multiple protocols and using strategies such as automatic compounding. Yield farmers can continuously increase their profits. The EU wants to regulate the crypto market, which in and of itself is okay and good. Nevertheless, there are doubts about the upcoming draft law. This is why some projects have mobilized and voiced their concerns. The European Crypto Initiative, EUCY for short, one of the supporters is the IOTA Foundation. The position paper emphasizes the need of the interoperability between different data providers and users to facilitate data exchange and collaboration. Also the importance of open data and data access to foster innovation and strengthen the European economy. The EU calls for further discussions and consultations to create an effective legal framework that strengthens the European data market while protecting citizens' rights. Read more in the sources. TJ Kyota has released a new video. Here he shows how to build a Shimmer app IOTA and the integration with Flutter and Rust. The Treasure Hunt even has brought many new projects to light that have been developing something in the back of our minds. If we started with around 9 participants before, we now have 16 participants after the event. Among them were some very interesting ones, for example Genie's Bounty, a gambling site. There you can try your luck in three small minigames. The project was created by Nakama Labs. Here's a disclaimer, gambling can be addictive and should be avoided, you can lose all your money. We can also welcome another small browser game, OG Adventures. With its skills and classes, it's very much based on classic roleplay games. Also more NFT and Texas sites have been launched. You can find the whole list on the Treasure of Shimmer website. TangleSwap also opened its doors during the test, but you can only trade and use the liquidity function. Landex can now also be tried on the Shimmer EVM. You now have the choice between Ethereum and Shimmer. Or thought, Shimmer can of course only be used with test tokens. A little drama is not be missed. A misunderstood piece of information was shared and misinterpreted on Discord and Twitter. It is about TangleHub. They are not leaving the IOTA platform, but they probably won't end up on Shimmer either. 
if they don't want to sell their customers a product on a test network. Please don't read too much into spec, lots of weird characters there. You can now open Bfrost comfortably in the window of your PC or Mac. They tweeted that they are beginning of May. There are also personalized accounts and the UI has been better adapted. You can read the full update notes in the sources. They have also reached the 3000 user mark from 5 different countries. Congratulations! New paper was also published at the beginning of May. TangleSim, an agent-based modular simulator for DAG-based distributed ledger technologies. With only 4 pages, it is one of the shorter papers. It deals with DAG-based distributed ledger technologies that allow parallel asynchronous writers to a ledger, leading to different perceptions of recent blocks between nodes. The network properties of the P2P layer have a direct impact on protocol performance and the dependencies of multiple core components require more comprehensive approach to the study of such technologies. An agent-based simulator for large-scale networks implementing the Tangle 2.0 Consons protocol allows modeling of peer-to-peer -peer communication, network topology, packet loss, gossip protocol, DAG-based data structure and consensus protocol to explore the performance of the protocol in different environments and attack scenarios. Let's get to assembly. No, it hasn't been written off. No, there won't be thousands of rounds, but only 8. Less in spec. Hold up, thanks. Round 5 ended on the 12th of May and just under 1 billion SMB was distributed. A blog post has been published for the new round staking. Round 6 of 8. This new round starts on the 19th of May and ends on the 17th of August. For this you have to update your Firefly wallet to version 1.7.2 and then the new staking event will be shown. And since the event is already running, there are also some numbers. In the first 5 days, 35 million assembly were distributed. Adam hangs out on the Crypto Rockstar Cruise. The Crypto Rockstar Cruise is an event where crypto enthusiasts and experts from the cryptocurrency industry gather on a cruise ship. IOTA was also there. In mid-May, the IOTA Foundation advertised a job for a senior business analyst in Kenya to work with Trademark Africa. The position has now been filled. Audit 1 also inspected Sooniverse on the 10th of May and only one major deficiency was found. Everything has been fixed. Sooniverse is more secure than before. On the 17th of May there was an event for Web3 in Berlin. Asa Dalborn and Marianne de la Roche from the IOTA Foundation were there and then the projects were presented. I have not found a recording. Have you heard of Cardery? Me neither, but it has IOTA in it. Cardery is presenting their Web3 framework. The framework allows users to explore the world of NFTs in an innovation way. It offers personalized recommendations based on users' individual interests and encourages social interactions through features such as comments and discussions. In addition, the framework enables unique NFT experiences, such as creating NFT collections and participating in auctions. Adam has a nice summary pictorial of what the now large shimmer universe has to offer. Dom has shown insights from the United Emirates. He writes that the meeting with the Minister of Economy, Abdullah Al Saleh, was very good and then they want to bring IOTA forward. Kowai also had another interesting meeting, this time with Laura Liu, the co-founder of Grenade. According to the translator, they produce sports food, which doesn't match up with crypto images. But the business card says blockchain integrated marketing. The tweet also says that they are one of the leading marketing companies. The conversations, the conversations about Shimmer must have lasted hours. Did someone mention marketing and advertising here? Small update from Jena Tech. It has become very quiet around the project. In Discord it was said this quiet means work. On 16th of May Jena Tech had started up open forum. I have not found a recording. The Web3 2023 ran on the 23rd till 24th of May. Mariana de la Roche was there as a speaker. Again, there is no recording. A cool news has Digimark. 
to report. This is the project that makes the digital passport for products. They have won the AIM case study competition. The winners will receive media mentions and can be invited to various speeches. Congratulations to them. The IOTA Foundation itself has published a video on YouTube with a call for sustainability, a collaborative effort for blockchains for a sustainable future. The video lasts just under 5 minutes. Now we come to many updates. On the 23rd of May, Dave released another update. Before rolling out the first release candidate, the team plans to make some final changes to ensure the code is free of legacy issues from the start. A new version with full test network reset will be released on the Tuesday, the 3rd of May. It is recommended to save or export important data from the current chain as it will be reset. The team continues to work on resolving open issues and making improvements that they will be provided in the next release along with the test network reset. So there will be a big update coming later this month. This will most likely be about the Pranning update. Also, the Firefly Shimmer has been updated to 2.1, 2.1.2 and 2.1.3, with this first update being the biggest. The other two were just quick boxes that had been noticed. The Wasp node has also received updates, in the meantime we are all at the Alpha 20. Also Hornet was updated to version 2, RC6. The Parameter team has also been working. Week 19, bugs were fixed and code in TangleSim was cleaned up. Metric recorders were properly terminated and bugs related to Go routines and the slowdown factor were fixed. New experiments were conducted and parameters for the modified ICCA were adjusted. However, the references mana cost of non-spamming nodes are not yet consistent. Work continues on fine-tuning and bug fixing in week 20. Simulations results were collected, bugs were fixed in TangleSim and new simulation results were generated for different scenarios. Experiments are underway, implement the finishing fishing condition and parameter tables continue to be refined and updated. Regarding network communication, two research papers were accepted and work is ongoing to update with white paper. Finally, discussions took place on the duration of the epic and finalization and minor revisions were accepted. The parameters task force still has bugs in the RMC Bing branch and it's working on fixing them. There is a long confirmation time that should be kept constant and debugging proposes. The phishing condition is still implemented in the refactor simulator and the tangle time is updated dynamically. One error free comet has been identified, parameter tables are continuously updated and metrics are refined. In terms of incentives, initial updates to the white paper have been completed and alignment with the accounts task force on liquid staking is underway. In terms of finalization, the focus is on the white of commitments and what this means for the, for the vibrancy of the protocol. There is a possibility of collaboration with Skolkovo Institute of Science and Technology on random beacons. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.